Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and in today's auto news, Toyota takes the lead in auto sales. They're number one auto sales uh, in the U.S. However, does that come at a cost? Are they perhaps making too many cars too fast? I mean, yeah, they oversold uh, GM, but, you know, they've had a lot of problems. They've had a lot of recalls. Just last month, Toyota agreed to pay more than $1 billion in the U.S. to settle lawsuits where vehicle owners said the vehicle of their cars and SUVs plummeted after the company recalled millions of vehicles because of sudden acceler acceleration issues. A billion dollars. And now today in the news, uh, Toyota is recalling 907,000 vehicles in uh, Corollas, Corolla models mostly, and this is due to faulty airbags. I mean seriously, faulty airbags, that's a big deal. I'm not sure what the problem is or you know what all is involved with that, but I know I wouldn't want to be driving a car with a faulty airbag. So if you drive a Toyota Corolla, you know maybe something you want to check into soon. Uh, they're also recalling 385,000 Lexus IS luxury cars for defective wipers. Hmm, maybe not so bad. Maybe not. You know it could be hazardous. You know if uh, you're driving in bad weather and you need them. I always thought Toyota was pretty well built cars, but they have been having a lot of problems lately. Uh, don't know what it is. But if uh, you drive a Toyota, you might check with your dealership to see if there is some to uh, recall. And they will probably be sending you a letter to let you know. But, uh, you know, if it's an airbag, I might check in sooner than, than later to, to make sure that, you know, my car is not one of those that, with a faulty airbag. So, I guess being the number one car manufacturer in the U.S. comes with consequences. And that's it for this video clip. Be sure to leave us a comment of what you think about Toyotas and what's going on.